What is the difference between the promise for change and hope for change? Especially when you're talking about dealing with toxic people and their promise for change versus your hope for them to change. My name is Lise Colucci and I'm here to help you transform your life after being with toxic people. Many of us who have had toxic people in our lives have spent so much time and so much energy hoping for change, hoping that that toxic person will see what it is they're doing that's so hurtful to you and to others and stop doing it and make the changes needed to be emotionally mature, healthy people, to stop acting covert and, and toxic, to stop the projecting gaslighting behavior. We spend so much time in hope. You probably spend the majority of your relationship with a narcissistic or toxic person in the hope for change. That hope for change will have a feeling in your body. It'll have a feeling of need, a feeling of a drive to make things better. It'll have a sensation in your body as well as an emotion attached to it for you. Let me know what you feel when you are hoping for change from someone toxic or what you did feel when you were hoping for change in the comment section of this video. A promise to change is when the toxic person tells you that they're gonna change. It's when they hoover you with telling you words you wanted to hear, with giving you all the descriptions of how they're going to be different, with fake apologies, with crocodile tears, with all of the promises that spur and fuel your hope. Okay, a promise to change from a narcissistic person is a false promise. It is future faking. It is not going to happen. Okay, the only thing that will change is the way they do things in a narcissistic way. Another thing a narcissist might do is make a promise for change, telling you everything you want to hear because they know exactly what it is they're doing. They know exactly the types of things that you require to feel healthy and safe in a relationship. They know why and how they're being toxic, but then they don't do anything about it. Another one is to say, I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. Oh my gosh, I'm trying. Well, I tried. I did my best. I tried. See, that's a promise for change. And also saying it's your fault that all of these things I tried didn't work. So let's talk a minute about the accountability and admitting fault thing I said. Sometimes a toxic person will actually admit what they did. If they're caught, if they feel it serves them, if it makes them look like the victim. So they'll, they'll only admit tiny pieces of it. They'll admit that yes, it happened. And then they'll have a thousand excuses why it's your fault. So right there, admit, and then don't take accountability. That lack of accountability is your main key that you're in a relationship with someone toxic. I say it on almost every video and I mean it. So when you feel the hope for change and you have seen the promise for change, not, not do anything but be a future faking lie. When you've not seen any real progress toward a healthy interaction from this toxic person, you have to get out of the fantasy of that hope for change. At a certain point, hope for change becomes fantasy. It becomes the fantasy thinking that locks us in, in our trauma bonded states, okay? And we have to recognize a person for who they are and what they are and allow them to be that. Hope, healthy hope for change means, I hope that you can change and I allow you to be who you are and I'm going to just see if you can do it. And then I get to make the choice whether or not I'm going to remain with you based on how things look, okay? It's not one's better than the other, it's making choice for what you want for your life. But the problem with, with the hope for change, especially when you're a highly feeling empathic person, you know, you get in your feels a lot, is that that hope for change becomes the drive that keeps you in the relationship. It can't be, that becomes fantasy. So pay attention whether you're in fantasy or you're giving this person a fair chance. Pay attention to your own reactions and to how you feel when you have that hope for change. If you need help with anything, coaching, group coaching, or peer support, check out the information in the description of every video. And you guys, pick another video from this channel to watch next. I'll see you later.